Hi there, Jeremy Chapman with another quick tip in terms of standing out in your Microsoft Teams meetings with a couple more camera tricks that you can do uh, for a different uh, kind of look and feel. You can see I've got this different effect at the bottom of the screen here. That's called a video effect. Now, in the pre-join screen, as you can see here, you can choose from the various video effects uh, that you can add kind of to the bottom or around the perimeter of your screen. And you can also choose from various filters as well to apply. Uh, you can use one or the other uh, to make your image stand out a little bit from maybe the rest or kind of make it look a little bit different uh, based on your preferences so that, again, you can have a different look and feel as part of your online meetings with Microsoft Teams. And I'm gonna go ahead and join the call and just kind of show you the additional things that you can do once you're inside the meeting. All right, so once you're inside the meeting, you can see I've still got the filter applied. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit more. And here you're gonna see kind of at the top level of the navigation right here inside video effects, you can get to all the effects that I just showed you. You see that we've uh, changed the background layout a little bit more in terms of you know the menus and how to get to various controls within Microsoft Teams. This is the public preview build. So you'll wanna opt into the public preview, which you can do through the ellipse in the main Teams menu. Go into about and then turn on public preview. If you haven't turned on public preview, it will kind of restart the app and then you will see these additional settings. So here, if I wanna go through some of the different uh, frames that we have, so you saw before kind of the purple, um, purple gradient. So we'll go ahead and hit apply. And here you can see it's applying that different uh, purple gradient. Now, the other things that you can do, for example, you can uh, apply an animated balloon. Maybe you want uh, something a bit more festive for a birthday party. Well, that's, uh, that's gonna float and overlay there. And there are quite a few different other ones that you can add. Um, one of my other favorite ones is this crystal effect that you can apply. And that kind of adds you know, these diagonally opposed crystals to your screen, so it's kind of a cool effect. And then in terms of styles, you know, I, saw, I showed you that kind of more purplish style before, which you can use again as a way to stand out. But there are also other, other filters. You can see here there's a black and white filter. And this is, you know, when I reviewed the Zoom Q2N camera that had all the different image filters kind of built into it, there were about 10 or so. You know, these are similar in the sense that they're going to modify the way that your image looks from a color perspective. So you can kind of have these different uh, looks to your video. This is kind of a more vintage look uh, to your video, again, to, to kind of stand out from the crowd and, and kind of show maybe a little bit more in terms of your character or your mood for the day with the video effects in Microsoft Teams. So I'm gonna go back into no video effects again for a moment just to close out. And you know, if you like this tip, be sure to hit the like button. Otherwise, subscribe to my channel. Uh, sign up for the public preview. You can do that through uh, team settings and we'll see you next time.